Hello folks and welcome to the Ashcast. Today we have an Ashes International League game between Matt Bowers and Christian Pratt. Matt has his Herald Double Spirit deck with strong conjurations and some board cleaning ping to allow for some big swings. On the other hand, Christian's going to be playing his big draw Rin deck, which he's trying to fly through his deck really fast with lots of draw, lots of mana, and swarm his opponent with a bunch of two attack units, then rally them back to his hand to heal. So Christian's going to start off round one by playing new ideas and drawing two cards. Matt, spinning a charm dice to put summon Gilder into play. Christian's going to draw three more cards with sleight of hand. And then Matt's going to play a summon Frostback Bear book. Christian mills a card and spends a basic to put Handrix back into his hand, immediately plays it, for and then plays Hidden Power. He plays a summon Shadow Spirit book here, which he's technically not allowed to do, but he's going to take that back later. Christian does some more hand tricks, unfortunately gets rid of a Rin's Fury, and then plays another Hidden Power. It's now in a position where he knows Christian has invested a lot into his current hand. He's not at a loss if the round ends, so he's just going to pass his main and wait to see what Christian does before he takes any other actions. Christian also passes, bring an end to round one. Matt's going to pass his initial round two play, then Christian's going to play new ideas and play a Battle Seer. Matt's going to summon a Gilder, painting the Battle Seer, and exhaust one of Christian's sympathy powers. Christian's going to swing with the Battle Seer to clear the Gilder and draw a card. Finish off the Battle Seer with Frog Pang, which allowed him to play Harvest Soul, so he can finally legally play that Shadow Spirit book. Christian pulls and plays another Hand Tricks, losing another Rin's Fury, plays his Hand Tricks, and passes his main. It's open Memories, then Christian brings out a Raptor Herder, brings out the Shadow Spirit to block, but then Christian's going to play a Spectral Assassin, pull the Raptor Herder back into his hand. Christian attacks with the assassin, Matt blocks and counters with the spirit, allowing him to play Harvest Soul and giving him another spell slot, which is going to allow him to play Frostbite. Christian will ice buff the raptor and pass his main. Matt plays a second spirit book, then Christian is just going to pass, and Matt brings out a spirit. Christian passes his next several turn, while Matt brings out a bear, double pings away the buff wrapper, and swings for five. Christian starts off round three by playing a Raptor Herder. Matt Gilder pings the Herder and reacts with his final Harvest Soul. Christian brings out another Herder. Matt then summons a Spirit. Christian's going to swing with everything in at Harold's face. The Gilder blocks a Raptor, but three damage ends up getting through. Matt follows by swinging with three units of his own, getting seven damage through to Rin. Christian plays a hollow, ice buffs it. Matt then calls upon the realms and uses one of the resulting frogs to ping the hollow. Christian then decides to use the hollow before it gets pinged down. Swings for two on Harold, then he's going to play Rally the Troops and pull the hollow and the raptor herder back into his hand. Healing two on Rin. Matt summons another Shadow Spirit. Christian finally gets to play a Rin's Fury. Matt takes this opportunity of an open board with no blockers to swing the Spirit through and get two damage on Rin. Christian now has the opportunity he's been waiting for to play Meteor, clearing out all of Matt's spirits. Matt summons the Bear, then Christian summons a Raptor Herder and exhausts one of Matt's frogs. Matt then clears Christian's board with Mist Typhoon. Christian then plays a hollow and exhausts Matt's last dice. Matt passes his next several turn, while Christian summons a hollow, plays a shepherd, uses that to pull a raptor herder back into his hand, and then play the raptor herder. Christian then swings with the hollows and the raptor, the bear is going to take two of the wounds on himself, but four is going to get through onto Harold. And Christian then swings the herder on the exhaust and bear to get another damage in on Harold. Matt's going to start off round four with a devastating Mist Typhoon. Christian then is going to play the Battle Seer, and Matt's going to swing with both bears, leaving Rin with only two health. The Battle Seer blocks no counter, but gets frozen, so is still exhausted. Christian plays a summon Spectral Assassin, attacks Harold, but the damage gets redirected to a bear. Matt plays his second copy of Frostbite, and Christian plays Gates Thrown Open. 
Matt will then activate one of his frostbite spells, leaving Rin with only a single health left. Christian plays a rose fire dancer, and then Matt passes, which looks like a friendly donation of blood points. Matt will then finish off the game by activating his second copy of Frostbite and putting the final damage on Rin. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time on the Ashcast.